I'm really, really happy and honored to be in Gior for the third time. The first two times I did opera concerts, operalia concerts, so it's a different, completely different project now. We're doing real symphonic music, two masterpieces, one by Johannes Brahms, his famous second symphony, which is a neoclassical piece, I would say. Very, very romantic piece, one of the masterpieces for me, by Elgar, Enigma Variations. I have said before that uh, my impressions about this uh, orchestra and this city are the best. The musicians are very, very highly and technically acclaimed and uh, at a very, very high level. What uh, matters more compared to other uh, European uh, countries and my country, Greece, is that Hungary there is a huge tradition in uh, Western classical music and uh, things that in other orchestras you have to say and remind in the first rehearsal about style. Uh, here you don't have to say anything because they know it's their music and it's always a big pleasure for me to cooperate with this wonderful orchestra and make music because it's a really fluid experience and really music making only. Aga Masterpiece, the Enigma Variation is kind of new here in Győr with the Philharmonic Orchestra. New piece for them. I guess it's not being played very often in Hungary. However, you know, if you into romantic music, if you played the Brahms, uh, Mendelssohn and all these, you know, masterpieces, uh, it's not uh, difficult for them to understand Elgar and this the orchestra has a very, very high musicality and a musical brain, I would say, because they can achieve in understanding everything in the first time. So the impression from Elgar is also fantastic, like Brahms. I was watching you, you were nearly dancing on the stage when you're conducting, it's like you make a waltzer. I didn't mean to dance, but, you know, it's a part of conducting, you know, it's to be inside the music. If the conductor is the music himself, then it's much easier to make the orchestra follow it, because they're like looking at the music, and then it's much easier for them to do it. You are from Greece. Any times when we are talk about, we have a subject, for example, the economic crisis, all of the bad things which happening day to day around us in the world, what you think how they can influence our everyday life, especially the artistic life in Europe, for example. In general, about humanity, we are going into a very, very deep crisis. It's political, it's all about money. Music is uh, art in general, is the only element that can really, really help us and save the world. We have to save music and then music can save the humanity. Things are very, very hard, especially for art, because culture and art, you know, are considered to be an extra luxury element always. Unfortunately, all governments don't see it as the first priority. And now with the crisis, the state has less money. The first thing that they cut, so... We had violent shut of the national, uh, the state uh, channel, yes. aired radio television two years ago. Fortunately enough, the new government reopened it, and that saved three ensembles, one symphony orchestra, one pops orchestra, and the biggest and best chorus in the country. The radio television chorus is the best chorus we have. And the state orchestras, even the national opera, they are managing because of their artistic, artistic directors to do things and to do well, we would say. But it's not really well because the budget is cut. They cannot invite big artists, big soloists, big conductors. All budgets are cut off and the musicians get like two thirds or half of the salary that they used to get five years ago which is a disaster, you know, they, it makes them not to love their job anymore. It's really difficult for an artist to keep himself or keep herself on this road. I mean, how you do this? The motivation is always music. You know, when you have to deal with a, a Nimrod for Enigma Variations or this uh, second movement of Brahms' second symphony, there is not much uh, else to, to have to think of. Because, you know, this music is, as I said before, the only thing that happening, is happening in our life that can give us uh, hope and strength to face things in a better way and to hope that the day that we will all expect uh, with love and peace for humanity will come soon. I hope. Now you stay here in the city one week. Is there any plan or you already done something, sightseeing or going to the restaurant, enjoy the life here a little bit? You have time for that? I like walking around Gyor. It's very much like the quiet part of Athens. It's a very, very nice city, closer to town and village, which I love. Quiet, very, very nice people, very polite, different than Budapest. 
I really enjoy walking, uh, going everywhere, restaurants, eating, everything. <laughs> okay, what is the next plan after this work you finished? We have uh, big uh, events for Christmas and New Year's in uh, Athens and Thessaloniki also, doing the big Christmas concert of Athens Symphony Orchestra and the New Year's gala of the Thessaloniki State Symphony Orchestra, which is also a fantastic orchestra. I have to be back to prepare this. I have just finished with a production of Magic Flute in National Opera. There are more to come in the winter.